Welcome to MacBreak Studio. I'm here at the new Pixelcore Studio in San Rafael. Rafael, or how do you say San it? Rafael. Thanks, thanks. San Rafael, California. Yeah. <laughs> and you can uh, say Prescott, and I'll say San Rafael. All right, well, these, <laughs> these studios just keep moving around. Yeah. I can, can't even keep track of them. So, we're looking at Final Cut Pro and doing motion blur in Final Cut, which there's no checkbox for in the inspector. Yeah. So you're going to show yeah. us how to do that. This is really cool. This is really cool. So let's just dive right into here. Mm -hmm. I've got an example. So we're talking about how you can add motion blur to animation in Final mm -hmm. Cut Pro 10. So first I'm going to create an animation. And to do so, I have this leaf here uh, on a transparent background. And that's actually kind of key that it is on a transparent background because uh, motion blur requires some kind of transparency for this to work. Um, so what I'm going to do Show us the alpha channel? Yeah, I'll show you the <laughs> alpha channels. Thank you. Thank you. So under the view, so there's our alpha channel. So we can see this transparency. Thank you very much. Um, I just added the last minute. So what I'm going to do is create a quick animation. And what I'm going to do is uh, with the playhead near the beginning of the clip here, I'm going to open up the transform properties and set keyframes for position and rotation. Uh, and then with that done, I'm going to drag left and position X to move that leaf off the screen. Then I'm going to move to the end of the clip and I'll drag the, clip, the, the leaf back on. I'm not gonna move it quite off yet because I wanna rotate it and I wanna see what I'm do doing when I rotate it. So I'm gonna rotate it, something like that. You wanna like see that. the crisp edge of the rotation. Well, I just wanna, actually I just wanna see what I'm doing. Okay. So now that I've done that, I can push it all the way off. Ah, so now it. I know how much I rotated it because if I try to rotate it off the screen, I can't see yeah. what's happening. Right. Motion has a great feature where you can see objects off the screen called show full view area, but it doesn't have it here in Final Cut. So anyway, if I select that, um, now and and play it uh this leaf flies across the screen okay yes and for some reason we only saw it fly once but there <laughs> it is flying across the screen okay but it's nice it's very crisp yeah. and folks who work with motion graphics know that it looks much more realistic if something blurs as it's moving right it's like there's a shuttle shutter angle on the camera and it's, yeah. it's like realistic yeah, blur. if you shoot some of the camera, yeah. there's going to be a shutter angle yeah. and you're going to see some blur. Now, there's no way within Final Cut to, to turn on motion blur, like you mentioned. There's no checkbox for it. But check this out. This is so cool. Um, and by the way, this tip comes from um, a site called fcpx.at. There's a, a YouTube video on it. Um, but it misses a couple of key elements that if you try to follow that video, you will get no result. So I want to add those key elements here. So I should go up to there and thumbs down? No, 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 oh, because it's okay. a great idea and it's brilliant. So I, I you know, so big thumbs, thumbs up, up and for doing thumbs that. Down. Yeah, but there's okay. a couple missing pieces. Right. So that's why I wanted to do this here. So the okay. first is here I am. This is what you do. In Motion, I've opened Motion. I've got the project browser. I'm going to select a new Final Cut title project. And I happen to be set to 1080 at 2997. Not that important, uh, but I just have a nice big HD frame for it. So I'll let that open here. So what I'm going to do is make this fill the screen by option clipping the green button there. There we go. Shift C to fit it to the window. So this is an empty title project. All I'm going to do is select the title itself and delete it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. If I select the project and go to the inspector and look at the project properties, the project has um, motion blur. See down here, yep. this motion blur? It has degrees and shutter angles or samples, a number of samples, which is 8 by default and a shutter angle of... 360. Now, um, you can set this to whatever you want. I like to bump up these samples to something more like 16 because it'll have more detail in the blur. Okay? More pronounced blurring. Right. And then uh, that particular YouTube video stops there. It says save it and you'll have motion blur and demonstrates it. But there's two really important things you need to do for it to work right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first one is under the render pop-up menu, you need to enable motion blur. Right. Okay. Otherwise, you will not see any motion blur. So you have to enable it right here. That's the first key point. The second key point is um, right now, if we were to change the duration of this title in Final Cut, the motion blur would speed up or slow down. Okay, right. because as you change the title duration, it spreads things out. So those motion blur gets spread out if it got longer or shorter. That's no good. So the way we can fix that is move the play to the end of the project and we can um, press uh, M and then option, we can press Shift M to add a project marker. marker and then Option Command M to open up that marker to edit it. And what we're going to do is set the type to a project loop end marker. And uh, you know, if, if folks have done any of my other training, the project loop end marker will force a duration to be uh, a, a certain time base so that the speed of the animation won't change. If you make the title longer in Final Cut, it'll just loop it. 
right. and that, it'll keep that same speed. Another, rather than, another key step was left out in the video. Yeah, so okay. you've got to have that project loop end marker there. And from there, you just press Command S to save and save it in your titles browser. I won't do that because I've got it in here already. So I'm going to go to the titles browser back here in Final Cut Pro. And what I've done, I've actually created a category called Ripple Motion Blur. Yeah. And I've saved a couple different versions. You can't publish the uh, shutter angle or the number of samples. So you can't change it in Final Cut Pro. So if you want different versions, maybe a 180 degree shuttle or shuttle shutter <laughs> or a 360 degree shutter, you need to save them as separate projects. So you can see here I've got two versions. I've got 16 samples at 180, 16 samples at, three, samples at 360. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is already marked uh, as a range. Mm -hmm. So I'll select this 16 360 and press Q. And I'll just place the play oh, over wow, the top of it. A lot of blurring. And you can see motion blur immediately there. If I tap the V key, turn that off and on, we can see very nice motion blur added to that clip uh, immediately. So we play it, and it just get, has a very different feel, especially once it's rendered because it's got that blur. Oh, I'm sorry, disabled it. Let's re enable it so we can see it again. So you can't control the amount of blur that's on it right now. If you wanted to change the amount of blur, we said that's too much, we could use a different template. So instead, I could drag on the uh, 180 degree blur. Okay, so you need to save separate templates with the different blur amounts that you want, the different samples or the different shutter angle. Yeah, a less pronounced blur seem might be. Yeah, so there's, there's one that has less blur. What matters is not what it looks like when it sits still. What matters is what it looks like while it's moving. Right. Because it's an animation where it's going to be moving. And that's what we want to evaluate it on is how it looks like when it's moving. But the cool thing about this is you can have uh, several different templates with different amounts of blur, and you can add motion blur to your animations in Final Cut Pro. Now, that's excellent. Now, you just recently created a new tutorial called uh, Warp Speed Effects, and, did, and I believe this was in the tutorial. It, right? it is, yeah. In fact, the, um, the motion blur templates in here we include as part of the tutorial as a download. We include a variety of little freebies as part of that. Oh, and nice. I've shown you how you can create this yourself, you know, if you have motion. But sure. even if you don't have motion, these will work. You don't need to have motion to use these templates in, uh, in Final Cut Pro 10. Excellent. So uh, is there anything else? Or? That's it. Wow. Motion Blur in Final Cut Pro 10. That is, that is, that is the trick for today. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Well, that should have been a snowflake yeah. instead of a fall leaf, but uh, <laughs> whatever. All right. Still fall around here. <laughs> so, uh, excellent tip for adding motion blur in Final Cut Pro 10. Check out Mark's excellent training. He's, uh, we're, we're constantly up upgrading and updating, adding new stuff to our library, so you want to check that out. Uh, check us out on our free YouTube channel, all of our videos, Facebook, Twitter, all, all of the usual social media platforms. <laughs> so I uh, wanted to thank you again for watching another episode of Mac Break Studio. We'll see you next week.